Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Nixter V, and today I will be showing you guys a very, very informative tutorial on how to get rich and famous on Roblox. Now, this is going to be a very long tutorial, but that is beside the point, because if you guys really do want to start profiting and getting rich on this game, I do suggest you to all pay attention in this video and watch the whole thing. Now... So, I got really lucky when I first joined Roblox. Well, first of all, I just wanna I just wanna say that I've been playing this game since 2008, so I've had a long time to you know like get where I am today. I have 158,000 Robux almost, and I got a Dominus and all of that cool stuff. But um, so there are two investments that I may want you guys to, to do. So you can start with getting rich. Now, the first thing, I definitely suggest you getting Builder's Club. Now, Builder's Club, there's pretty much nothing you can do without Builder's Club that helps you profit. Beside making a game and just having people join it. And if you have like a game pass on the game without Builder's Club, you only get like 10%, I believe. Maybe 30%. Not sure, but it's not a lot. So, um... When you do have Boulders Club, the things you can do, you can make like game passes and then get 70% of all profits. You can make t-shirts, you can make shirts, sell all those, you can you can trade with people. For example, I've done a bunch of good trades in my days. So like for example, I gave my JJ Top Hat and my Dominus Vespertilo for the Dominus Arius. And then I eventually got the orange Sparkle Time Fedora as a, um, hold on guys, I want to show you, um, can't spell right now. So this is the orange Sparkle Time Fedora right here. I was actually one of the original owners, I got it for 50000 And then when I, what I did, I traded that for, hold on, I gotta look where, is this it? No, hold on. Okay, so I traded my orange Sparkle Time Fedora for the Dominance Vespertilo, and this hat, the Fuchsia, Fantastic, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, um, and then after that, I traded my, this hat, whatever it's called, and my Dominus Arius for the Masaur and the Valkyrie Helm, which I eventually sold for 9,300 Robux, which was a pretty good sell on my part, and I still have this hat, but, anyways, guys, let's get into the video itself. When you get Builders Club, that is the first thing I want you to do. After you get Builders Club, another thing I suggest you do is buying... A thousand robux or so now i did not do this because again my game got popular and i got really lucky because i was able to like do stuff hey my shirt loaded but anyways i'm actually gonna i'm gonna take that off but okay so let's put that back on where is it there we go i like this shirt but um basically i made it i made a game back in the day and it made me a ton of money and then what i did next it took me a while but then eventually roblox came out with something called the limited item and believe it or not when I joined Roblox they did not have limited items and after they after items went off sale you could not get them anymore but um a bunch of items that I had that were limiteds they I mean that sorry they were um they were like old items like something like this that went limited and then I just sold them for a lot more than I got them for the main thing that got me to being rich, or I guess being, I guess wealthy on this game, was this hat, or was this gift right here. So I believe, hold on, let me look at my character. So, again with the whole investment thing, I want to show you guys something. I took a very big risk in getting this hat, but it was very worth it in the end. See that hat right here? That is the gift of Sinister Ascension. Now, it is a Halloween gift that came out in 2012, and the cost of it was 31,000 Robux just for this gift. I did not know what would come out of it, and Roblox says that it could either be a Domino Crown, a Dominus, or a flock of bats. I took the risk, and I got the Dominus Vespertilo, which a couple weeks ago, I sold it for 93,000 Robux. Imagine that. I buy it for 31,000 and I sell it for 93,000. That is so much profit as you guys can tell. Or as you guys should be able to tell, but um 
So yeah, that's um pretty much some things that I did. And on to the rest of the video, or another tip. So, what I want you guys to do after you get, first of all, after you get Builders Club and you buy Robux, I mean, none of these things are necessary. It's completely optional, but that that's just what I would recommend doing. I mean, if I got into account and I completely started from scratch, I would probably get like a thousand Robux just as a base. And then when you get a thousand Robux, what you gotta do is when a new limited item comes out, like as you can see, um, hold on, let me just see right here. Let me go to all collectibles, recently updated. So, ooh, what the heck? Oh wait, no, never mind. Okay, so this for example, I believe it started out at a hundred Robux. So I got it as an original buyer. I think it had like number like thirty or something. So I I got it pretty early, and then I sold it for. I believe it was like 700 and then another thing that I did is that um so whenever a limited item sells out what you can do is that usually there's like a bunch of price wars in the chat or not in the chat there's a lot there's always a bunch of price wars for like people who want to just sell it right away so what I did I profited like 4,000 robux off of this believe it or not so a bunch of people were selling this for like 200 robux and then guys I'll show you right here so Hold on, where is it? Um, hold up. All right, so right here. So I, I um, purchased a bunch of these Sparkle Time Claymores for 250, 200, 275, 250, and 101. That was the original one. So I, I bought all of those for little prices, and then I sold all of them for 800 each. That is like a lot of profit. And then I traded some of them for like. Hold on, I want to see where. Where is it? Okay, um, I believe it's this. Yes, so I traded my Sparkle Time Claymore because the, the recent average price was a lot higher for this, the, cro the Chrome Glasses, and then I sold the Chrome Glasses for 1900 So initially, I bought the Sparkle Time Claymore for 250 and then sold it for 1900 That is something you can do, which is pretty good on my part, and again... You're going to have to have a base to, like, start doing all this stuff, and that's what I suggest you guys doing. Buying Robux and buying Builders Club. If you don't want to buy Robux, that's perfectly fine. I'm not, like, forcing you guys. Again, I'm not, like, benefiting. I'm not benefiting all at all off of this, but I'm just, like, I don't know. That's what I would do, because if you get Builders Club, um, just the regular Builders Club, the classic one, you get 15 Robux a day, which, in my opinion, isn't really that much. And, um, yeah, so, next thing that I want to talk about is making a game. Now, again, when I first joined Roblox, this was back in 2009, I made a game called Run Over Noobs with Burnout Cars. And this game got on the front page of the popular thing, and it had, like, 2,000 people on it at once. And so many people were buying my VIP shirt, I... Like, oh my god, it got so many people to buy it, and I honestly just got so rich off of that game. And basically, my words of advice for you guys, keep trying to make games, and if it doesn't get popular, just make a new one. Try to make games that people will stay on long for, because I guess, like, for people to stay on your game, it's pretty much free advertising, because whenever someone's on your game, it would show up on the, um, on the games tab, and then people just keep on joining and joining and then before you know it your game is on the front page so yeah um another thing that i want to talk about in the whole making your game thing is game passes now for this game right here i thought this would do a lot better than it did hey I just got a skype message that's awesome but um I thought this game would do a lot better than it actually did. Stop texting me, please. I'm going to close Skype. Hold up. Okay, so... There we go. You are gone, Skype. I thought this game would do a lot better than it did, but... I advertised the crap out of it, like, using these advertisement things. You can, like, set up advertisements and stuff, but, um... I added game passes, and as you can see, there's Guide to Winning, which is basically whenever someone, um, buys this... They can PM me saying that they bought it, and then I will show them how to win the game a lot easier. Then there's VIP, where you can get a bunch of stuff in, like, givers. And then there's also the exclusive lane, where you get your own, like, log and stuff like that. And 
for some reason, people actually want this stuff, and I profited a ton from this as well. Watch, guys, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I have the calculator open, and I just want to show you guys what I mean. So, 65 people bought this for 7 Robux. So, that's 455 Robux, and then you have to factor in that Roblox takes away 30%. So, I profited 318 off of that. And then also VIP, so that's like 3, 318 plus 420 times plus 318. So that's already 612 Robux. And then the exclusive lane, so that's, uh, what is that? That's 520, 520 worth of sales. 520, oh wait, oops, 520 times 0 0.7 plus 618, I believe it was. So that's like a 1,000 Robux profit just from Game Passes. And I was only advertising this game for like, that's like a thousand Robux profit in one day because I only had this game being, um, I guess half popular for like one day and that many people bought it in one day, which is pretty dang good. So, um, yeah, next thing that I do want to talk about, and this is probably going to be the last thing. Actually, I don't know. Next thing that I do want to talk about is making t-shirts. Now, as you can see in the catalog, by the way, guys, to make a t-shirt, or not a t-shirt, to make a shirt, I believe you need Builder's Club, so that's another thing, back to the investing, to get a Builder's Club and Robux and all that stuff, but, um, let me go to clothing, let me go to shirts, let me go to best selling, and I want to show you guys this shirt right here, 336,981 people bought it for 10 Robux or 100 tickets, now, I want to show you how much Robux this guy profited off of this. So 10 Robux plus 336981 times 0 0.7 because Robux takes off some money. He profited from one t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen, 200, no, sorry, 2.35 million Robux off of one shirt. That is a lot of money. <laughs> And, oh, is he banned? What? Wait, is he? No, he's not. Never mind. I don't know why. It showed an error mit It showed an error message, but, um, that is a lot of Robux. I'll probably make a second tutorial soon. That is part one, I guess you can say, of this tutorial, and then I'll think of some more things that, like, I can't really think of much more on the top of my head, but at the moment, that is everything I can think of. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. A rating, a comment would be very much appreciated. I will see you in part two, which should be released sometime in the next month or maybe later. And, um, yeah, that's it for now. Peace.